A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. This is what it looks like when I am bored, <laughs> sitting in front of the lake at the boat dock in the pouring rain with absolutely nothing to do right now. Um, it is 2 p.m. <laughs> I did wake up fairly early. I had a really hard night last night. Um, I can only talk a little bit about it, but I had a hard night last night, so I didn't sleep well. I woke up too early. Um, but got up on time after kind of laying in bed for a little bit. Um, was able to straighten up the house, do some laundry and some dishes, and then edit some videos and get caught up. I am behind on videos because my life is a little bit boring right now. <laughs> so I am a little bit behind on being ahead, I guess I should say. Um, and when I was done with that, I literally had nothing to do. I have to kind of wait to finish those care baskets for Ashley's teacher and her receptionist at the office because I need to get fresh fruit. I need to get the pineapple and the juice for that basket and I might do something else for the other basket. So I can't really finish putting those together. Like I said, the laundry is done. <laughs> I don't need groceries. I shouldn't go to Target or Trader Joe's. I shouldn't do anything else. Um, so I'm just bored. Um, so yesterday's video kind of took a turn with my us not finding my dad. He's fine. I'm not going to go into any other details. He's totally fine. <laughs> and he understands now how much stress he put us all in by not being able, not communicating with us. Um, he was ignoring all of our phone calls, <laughs> by the way. So he knows that was probably not the wisest decision. Um, but he was under a lot of stress. So i um, going to let that be what it is. But it was a lesson to all of us that it's good to stay connected even if you're having a hard time, a hard day, or a hard situation. Because um, it did really like stress out the family. Um, but he's fine. I actually had a conversation with him today and he, <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to go into it just for his own privacy, but it was good to talk to him. He's doing okay. And he's fine medically, you know, everything is fine. Um, but that's just why I'm, I'm kind of melancholy because it was kind of a rough night worrying about it, about the situation. And I didn't go to bed in the best manner. We'll just say that. So I'm just a little bit bored and um, anyway, the kids are still at school. Chelsea's probably home within an hour or so here. Um, so anyway, that's just where I'm at today. Mildly boring. Some of my other plans were canceled. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have even done my hair or put on eye makeup or whatnot, but my those plans were canceled. Um, and it just means I, I changed some of my plans for tomorrow, but it just means that from today on the rest of this week, it's super busy. I keep adding things to the days that I actually have too many plans. And so <laughs> I'm like, can we, I wanted things to add to today cause I literally had nothing to do today, but everything is kind of shifting to the next three days or so which is fine. It'll keep me occupied in the next couple days. Um, I do have somewhere that I'm going this week that I will have a conversation with you guys about on that day. I'll explain that later. I've alluded to something in the past. Um, so just stay tuned. I guess I could tell you a few, I don't know what's, if there's anything exciting that I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh, Ashley has a leadership meeting. We have something fun for tomorrow, for tomorrow, Abby. Well, stay tuned. That one we can make a little surprise. Um, it's for Abby and hopefully she'll let us film her from a distance. Um, so anyway, I just, I have a busy week the rest of the week, but 
we'll just have to like deal with being bored. So I was kind of trying to avoid not just sitting home and watching TV, but I think today might be the perfect day to start Bridgerton, <laughs> the newest season that just came out because I don't have any obligations. I don't have to feel guilty taking the time to watch it. It is like a really fun show for me to watch. So I think I'm gonna go home. I've been sitting here in this parking lot for about an hour. <laughs> I like sitting in my car. You haven't noticed, that is something that I like to do. I don't know if it's this car, but I did sit in my old car. I did do that. There's like a huge eagle. Oh, did it just scoop something up? Can you see? Oh. Oh, no, it wasn't an eagle. It wasn't an eagle. It was just like a big, um, I forget what they're called. Long-necked bird. I forget what they're called. Crane? I don't know what it is. But there are eagles that live in the trees on like the corners of this lake. And they have their nests in them and they fly back and forth. So anyway, I thought it was an eagle. Um, but I do like sitting in my car. I do like to like hang out in here. And I did have my beverage. I just hang out and I also have my water. So I moved on to like the last bit of my water. <sighs> this is Abby, what does Abby want? This is the only way you get access to Abby. What does she want? What's the Netflix login? <laughs> this is what my children need me for. All right, let me head home. I'm not like one to have like a big Bridgerton party by any means, but I think I'm gonna go do that. I'm just gonna go take the time to go and do that and not feel guilty. It's okay to like sit and relax as long as you're not like putting off like something else that's important that you should be doing, I guess. So it's my lot in life now that I get to do that, I guess. I was thinking today, I was like, I mean, I guess I could get a job, but I don't, I don't want a job. I don't need a job. Like we're fine. Um, but um, like there's only a few days where I'm actually bored during the week and the other days I'm like super busy so it's not like anyway just I was just thinking Thing is though we are literally going five miles per hour. <laughs> Six actually. Six. I saw on YouTube the speed limit signs, they're like 12 in 32. What do you mean? Like there's speed signs in like- In different Flo countries? In Florida that are like 12 in 65. No, that might be like the state sign, not the speed sign. No, it says speed limit. I don't know 12. anyone that would be 12. But anyway, I, don't know, I did in fact spend the afternoon trying to watch Br Bridgerton. I only watched, I think I'm on the very beginning of the third episode, um, but I don't know, maybe five minutes into the second episode, I was like, oh, this feels nice. No one was home quite yet. Um, and I was just enjoying my time alone. And then it went to the little swirly, there's no internet connection. Um, it's super rainy, if you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> haven't noticed. Uh, it's been raining nonstop all day, which is normal when it does rain. Um, but it knocked power out and in a little chunk of town and that knocked out our Wi-Fi. Probably just blipped it and it had a hard time turning it back on. My microwave went out. Um, I'm pretty sure all the power went out, but um, so I couldn't even watch Bridgerton for like an hour. <laughs> So I watched YouTube. I was like, really? The first time I sit down to actually like guilt-free do this. But anyway, but then this girl came home and I immediately saw a message from one of the moms, bring your girls over. Anyway, so that's where you've been, right? And then I got another message saying, hey, there's an activity tonight at the church and they're making what? Cinnamon rolls. They're making the Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. Which I may go to a different activity. Well, yeah, she she could go to one of two different activities. She could go to the older group with her friend. Um, so Not I picked her up from her friend's house, and we're a little bit late to this one, but no, we're not. Yeah, it started ten minutes ago, but it's okay. But I'm gonna drop her off to this one. It's not worth going home in, with traffic. 
some of the traffic lights went out, so it took me a while to get home from dropping her off at her play date this afternoon. So I'm just mom taxi this afternoon, which is why I wanted to sit and watch my show tonight. So I don't think it starts at 7.30. Right, it doesn't start at 7.30. We're 10 minutes late. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, they were supposed to do a, not your group, Chelsea's group was supposed to do a bike ride today. And someone was like, oh, they can just put rain jackets on. And I'm like, no, oh, it's like, God. it's really raining. That's like so. miserable. Okay, have miserable. fun. Go have fun. I'll be out here waiting for you to take you home. I'm not going anywhere. Should I get mine? My... Yeah, get your sweatshirt. Okay. Have fun. Hopefully. And Jason, he went to dinner. I can't even tell who's in the car next to me because their window is all fogged up. I don't know where he went to dinner. Maybe I should look at... No, it didn't say. He went to dinner with one of his old partners, the one that lo he lost both of his shoe stores. Um, so he came into town and Jason went to dinner with him. And uh, so he's actually maybe going to get me dinner. <laughs> so that'll be nice when he gets home. I'll go home after I get Ashley picked up and then call it a night. It's been a quiet, drizzly, rainy. I mean, just look. You can even see the windshield and like outside. It's just, it's green, it's beautiful, but it's just drizzly rain. I mean, that's how much water is on the windshield just from stopping the car. So it's pretty drizzly and miserable out here. But that's why it's so green, I get. You know, you get what you get. We're just, we just wait till the 4th of July for our official like summer to begin. It, it's, it, we get these little like, you know, hints that's an early summer and we get teased by it but true to form every year doesn't really start until july ashley was well, today she was like why don't you go to the dollar or to the hobby lobby and get your fourth of july decorations and i was like because it doesn't feel festive to go to the get fourth of july decor when it's like 50 degrees and <laughs> pouring rain outside that's not fun so i didn't i mean i could have and avoided traffic going home, but that's, it just doesn't feel festive, you know? Wearing jeans, a sweatshirt, flip flops. My feet will get wet if I get out of the car. So doing, I've been doing everything I can do by staying in my car and not having to get out. So, um, anyway, sit here and wait. We're gonna turn on maybe some YouTube or something and then see how Jason's day went, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Hi, what happened? So I was whisking, first of all, I need to see this. I got an extra one. Don't eat that on, like, not even like I a know. bit of it. Okay, what um, happened? So I was whisking it, um, and it randomly just like clicked to five, which is the highest mode, and the it was pushing the bowl off the table, and I'm trying to push it back, and then it just jolted, and then it cra crashing down on the floor. Oh, did you lose all that batter then? So you had to start over? <laughs> Oh, shoot. It was, except for it was an ugly bowl. It was like a red bowl. Okay. <laughs> we all right. It. Well, did you have fun? You're, huh? you're a little bit late, but. Because we had to spend all that time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't eat all that. You need to eat dinner. Okay. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why. Bitter taste I think I'll let it be